a thing of beauty right there. I just like to come down here when he's not around and look at it. Yeah, look at you, you sexy beast. Mm. I can't wait to take a shower. October 8th, we got snow, buddy. Yeah, we are in the middle of the Adirondacks, floating around. Yeah, way out in the middle of nowhere. It's windy and snowing. <laughs> We're in canoes. We're wicked smart. <laughs> It's all fun and games until somebody sinks a canoe. I'm up in Low Lake with my buddy Craig for the week. It took me five hours to drive up here, but now I get to spend the next seven days of my life paddling around Low Lake in the Adirondacks in New York. We don't have a plan. We're just gonna go from place to place and take it as it comes. Kind of cold when we were paddling in here in the rain, cold and wet, but we found a good spot. No one else is here, place is ours. In 1985, the Lowe's Lake area was open to the public. The 85 years prior to that, the area had been off limits. Originally known as Mud Lake, Lowe's Lake was created by the construction of two dams on the Bog River. The Lowe's Lower Dam, built in 1903, followed by the Lowe's Upper Dam in 1907. The dams were built by Abbott Augustus Lowe in an effort to produce electricity for the Horseshoe Forest Company. And our adventure starts at the lower dam on a rainy day as we are making our way up the Bog River to Hitchens Pond. Right now, I fear for my gear. Everyone we've run into that has been camping out here for a few days has warned us about the rodents. Our gear is being ransacked. I can see the squirrels and chipmunks scoping us out, casing us out, getting ready to make their assault. If I blow this up and they chew a hole through it, I'm gonna be pissed and I'm gonna kill his whole family. Just jokes. So I'm not gonna blow this up until I go to bed. Which kind of sucks because I like to have everything ready to go to bed so I can just get hammered and pass out and be done with it. Maybe I just won't use it at all. Who knows? Those damn rodents. Squeamish. I think that's good in low light, huh? Over there. Yep. There's our adversary right there.
we made it. We're strolling up on our campsite for the evening after a good day of paddling. This looks promising. Look at that. What a nice landing here, dude. We got lucky. Oh, wow. Little bushcraft chair. That's cool. Look at this place. This is what I like camping in right here. Hardwood. I like the hardwood, you know what I mean? Look at this out here. Craig brought some steaks in tonight, so we're going to have steak, and with the steaks, we're going to have this stroganoff. But I'm going to doctor it up a little bit, because I've got all this dehydrated goodness right here. I'm going to throw some of that into the water right now and start letting it cold soak. This is seasoned ground turkey and vegetables with, with some sauce that I made for the shepherd's pie, which is coming up. Cheers. I'm pretty sure that I couldn't buy better sleep than I got last night. I slept very well. This smells incredible. All right, so we have a really tough decision to make at this point. We're all packed up and ready to go. Camp is broke down. I mean, our canoes are, they're packed up. We're ready to go. But it seems like weather is blowing. I mean, weather is blowing in. It's already spitting a little bit. Hmm. We've got a really good campsite and wood that we didn't burn that we collected yesterday. So we're just gonna stay here and hang out, eat, drink, fish, play it by ear tomorrow. Eagle.
Craig's shelter is set up right there. We've got my tarp hung back up and then my tent is way out there in the background. It was raining pretty good a little while ago, but it seems to be clearing up now. So maybe it's time to do some fishing. I'm gonna try my luck with this guy right here. I really enjoy the versatility of this tent. Having two doors is really nice. It's almost like being under a tarp. A really cool shelter. morning guys it's a good morning for some fishing so I'm gonna give that a go I suck at fishing on lakes well Craig and I we're breaking down camp for real this time so we're gonna go through this process again load up our canoes and then we're gonna head on up the lake get into the bigger portion of the lake it's been a really, really nice morning. It was about 38 degrees when I woke up this morning. Now the sun is out, the water is calm. It's time to move on. All right guys, it's 10 o'clock and we're back on the water. We're leaving site 16, which was awesome, a great site. And now we're moving on. We don't know where we're going, we're just going, so. Well, we found a nice little cove tucked out of the way, out of the wind, and it's nice and calm. The wind is ripping out there on the lake, so we're just throwing in the line real quick because we know it's coming. We're going to get bombarded by wind, so we're going to enjoy the calm before the storm. I caught a fish, that was pretty awesome. And now we're on our way. Into the wind. It is windy. Greg and I are taking a break on the beach right here to formulate a game plan because it's too early in the day to just set up camp somewhere. We want to be way over there. And the waters are kind of rough. So what we're going to do is stick to that shoreline and try and make our way to Camp 40. And from there, we're going to rest and hopefully wait for the wind to die down and head out farther this evening. 
What this do you say? This is an adventure. You ready to it's do about, this? It's about to be real. It's about to go down. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. I got the butterflies. This is awesome. Yeah. Oh boy. Well, we just passed campsite 40, so we're, we're doing a little bit better than we thought, and we're going to keep going. This is wild. This is awesome. Adventurers out there! Woo! <laughs> now, a lot of you guys watching might not really think it's that big of a deal and it doesn't look too bad, but when you're way out here, you've still got four or five days left got all your gear packed up in this canoe. Bad things can happen quick. It's all fun and games until somebody sinks a canoe. Woo! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Battling a headwind, but it could be worse. We've made it to Boone's Landing. Check out the view. Boone's Farm Landing. Boone's Farm. We're gonna take a break, have some lunch, and we'll carry on. After a good lunch, we're back on the water. We're trying to get across this lake to the far side. So we'll see how that pans out. It's still pretty windy. Gonna give it a go. That whole mass of land right in front of me is a floating bog. Just cruises around doing its thing, being all boggy and stuff on the move. That was a fun crossing. That was pretty windy, really gusty. It'd be like kind of fine, and then bam, try and knock you over. Pretty intense. We have arrived. Let's see how she works. Yeah, we'll check it out. We didn't really like that site, so we decided to go push on, check out some others. that we didn't really like that site and we really don't want to be pinned down there for two days if it's going to start raining tomorrow. We're going to boogie up to the grass pond area and hopefully find a nice site in there. So we're going to put the hammer down and try and cover some water. The good news is the lake has calmed down a little bit. So that's good. We got that going for us. Which is nice. Alright, fifth time's a charm. Let's go check this out. That was worth the extra paddling. Yeah, yeah, this is a nice site, man. Yeah, I could definitely spend a few days here. This was a much better site than the other three we looked at. 
The perseverance pays off. Nice effort, dude. My tent is going right there. Greg's over here setting up his hammock. What are you rocking? The war bonnet? You have the war bonnet? Yeah, the war bonnet ridge runner. Nice. Yeah. Well, that was a pretty adventurous paddle today versus a headwind all day long and some white caps. It was pretty awesome. Very adventurous. I enjoy it. You know, it's not like just paddling around on a glass lake all the time. There's a That it was not. There's there's an element of adventure to it. And when you're out here, yeah, you know, we're on day 3 or 4 now. I don't even remember. We're way out here. Lugging all our gear. Everything we have is in those canoes and if one of those canoes goes over, not to mention, we're into October. It's the water's really cold. Yeah, it's cool enough, really so, past the water. Yeah. There's a there's a real hefty element of risk, which adds to the adventure, and I'm not disappointed. I'm having a really good time here with Mr. Craig Dwella. Me as well, um, Justin. This has been really cool so far. Yes, yes, it has. To say the least. We've to had a say blast. the least. We adventure well together. That we figured out. Yeah, that was cool. He caught a fish, which was cool. I'm still on skunk, but one one small bass in two or three days. We got to get our fishing game on. Here. Yeah, we got to get our fishing. Maybe game. tomorrow. Where we're at now, Craig said he's read that there's good fishing in these waters, mm -hmm. so we're gonna give it a go and see what happens. But yeah, we'll get them tonight. We're gonna just relax, cook up some steaks, and mm. eat some good food, kind of bunker down. They say there's rain coming tomorrow, so we might be here for a couple days. It's a good spot to do that's that. It's a though. real good spot to do that. And that's why we went through five different spots today because we just kept getting to sites and being like, you know, I don't want to spend two days here. Like, this is cool. It's doing a pinch, but I don't really want to spend two days here. So we kept on going and kept on going. It was well worth the it episode. Was, you know, it was, it was a it. lot more work for you and I, but I'm so glad we found this spot. Fun today. work. Yeah, yeah. Fun work. Yeah. It was like a reconnaissance mission. You know, Absolutely. now we know. Like, we were, we're expanding the mental map on future endeavors we'll we'll have that information already oh our adversary right there the mighty chipmunk <laughs> chai tips and alfredo noodles That's all I needed to hear. Nice cup of coffee on a rainy morning.
Well, it's kind of clearing up, so I feel obligated to get on the water. Go for a paddle, maybe do some fishing. Check out some campsites. Get poured on. Who knows? It feels good to paddle after sitting under a tarp all day. Loosening the rain. I'm here for about three minutes. It starts raining. <laughs> yeah, it's raining. Just heard some thunder. I'm going back. Where there's thunder, there's lightning, and I'm on a lake in a boat. Craig's trying to make chili and it's pouring out. <laughs> Despite all the rain, today was a good day. It was a good rest day. We had some good food, and the weather was wild. It was fun. And hail, we got all that hail. That was awesome. Pretty beat, tired. With any luck, tomorrow will bring us better weather. It's a little bit chilly out. Nice, I slept really well last night. But after yesterday's rain, it rained on and off hard all day. But there's one thing I can take away from that, which is the homemade seam seal, it works. Not a drop inside that tent. That worked really well. The tent kept all my stuff and me dry and warm. This tent is awesome. I absolutely love it. What a great tent for canoe camping. Campsite 32 is awesome. It's a really, really nice site. Right in the green pond area. I believe it's called Grass Pond. <laughs> grass Pond? Did I say green pond? Yeah, yeah. I, I keep saying green pond. Greg, oh, God Sorry. damn it. Uh, Site 32 is awesome. Craig and I, we've had this whole grass pond area all to ourselves for the last two days. It's almost a shame to leave because it's a really, really nice spot, but we've been here for two days and there's more lake to see.
after a day of sitting in the rain, it's nice to be back on the water. It's about 38 degrees right now. The wind's not too bad, so for now, <laughs> we'll, we'll see how long that lasts. We're gonna make the best of it. I'm gonna try my luck with this guy right here. Craig gave this to me, so thank you, Craig. It's quite obvious to him that I have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to bass fishing, so he's given me some lures and stuff. <laughs> we'll see. No harm in trying. Seeing that eagle yesterday was cool. Feels like it's gonna snow. It's sprinkling. It'd be pretty rad to get some snow right now. It's spitting snow, guys. Yeah. October 8th, we got snow, buddy. Here we are in the middle of the Adirondacks, floating around. Yep, yeah, way out in the middle of nowhere. It's windy and snowing. <laughs> We're in canoes. We're wicked smart. <laughs> I should put my phone away. I should. It's really rough out there, and that's where we're heading, so I'm gonna put the phone away. And uh, if all goes well, you'll be hearing from me again. We're getting bombarded by the wind. We just did a sketchy paddle. I'm gonna regret for the rest of my life not having that on film. <laughs> But cameras were put away, and we had better things to think about than getting good footage, like not dying from hypothermia. Yeah. So we're taking a little bit of a break. We're going to figure out a game plan and get back at it when we get back at it. We're heading down towards campsite number 38. The lake is really starting to narrow down now, and it's got a really northern feel to it. We're hoping that because the lake is quite a bit narrower, that we'll be protected from the wind. Really intend to stay down there, but we're just exploring for the afternoon, hoping that the wind is going to die down this evening. The lake is right over there. It's a nice tree. Mr. Moose came through here a little while ago, not too long ago. Oh, it's really musty. We know that moose are in rut, so we're figuring the moose might be peeing all over the place. We're just taking a little break, have a little lunch, and then we're going to paddle on back out of here. It's cool getting down this far. It's really nice. It's wild. And we're sheltered from the wind, so we're taking a risk paddling back up into that stuff that we just came out of. We'll see. Ultimately, it's just too early in the day to stay here, and it's, it's quarter of two. All in the spirit of adventure. Lunch time. Tuna bacon and avocado wrap. It's windy. Cold. It's the battle of the paddle. Alright guys, that was a good day of gnarly paddling and now we've made it to land and I gotta say I'm pretty excited about that. It's beautiful out here. Home for the evening. I think I'm gonna put my tent right there. Here's to a good day of paddling right here. That was an awesome day. Cheers. Cheers, man.
That's the best beer I've ever had in my life. <laughs> Fought mm. the waves all day. Big ones. Headwinds. Some serious water there. Rollers. Yep. Real cold water. It's pretty uh, white knuckle there for a few <laughs> minutes, but makes it all better at the end of the day. Yeah. You know, I'm in a really good place right now. Feeling strong, adventurous. Absolutely. Yeah, I haven't seen any other paddlers all day. Nope. All day, not one. It was snowing earlier. It was. Earlier. I'll drink to that. That's Remember that? awesome. Yeah, it was snowing. It was sprinkled. Flurry. It was a flurry. It was white. It was definitely white. But we did get some hail yesterday. Yeah. So, good fun. Good fun. Tonight for dinner, we're having dehydrated spaghetti with meat sauce, dehydrated turkey, seasoned like sausage. going to be a cold one tonight guys There's ice building up on my fishing pole. Check that out. I'll tell you, it's a good morning for a nice hot I'm snacking on some dehydrated peach chips that I just dropped. I'm on a roll from our peach trees with cinnamon. Mmm. Yummy. Millions of peaches. I've also got some dehydrated bananas with cinnamon and an apple. Breakfast of Champions. And we're off, folks. Another day of paddling in front of us. A little bit of frost on the pumpkin. We've had it all this week. Rain, some flurries, hail, frost, white caps, rollers, glass water. What a time. Oh, I'm so happy right now. I didn't get the midweek crash at all. Today is Friday. We've got two more nights tonight and tomorrow night. And I gotta tell you, it's just been nothing but fun for me the whole time. Nothing but fun the whole time. Today, we're just kind of taking it easy, doing some fishing and making our way back, back up the lake. 
only have two nights left, so it's time to start heading back to where we started. Check it out, dudes. Look at this lunker right here. Oh, it jumped. It's feisty. <laughs> yeah. Guess who didn't get skunked? This guy. That's right. Be jealous, folks. <laughs> I'm going to let him go. I'm going to be a sportsman about it, you know. This thing was a monster. That afternoon wind is starting to pick back up. Well, that was a fun little bog crossing. Makes things interesting. I have the Lux opened up tonight because it was wet when I packed it away this morning and I want it to dry out. This is just one of the doors tied out to a tree and it opens it up like a tarp, like a bat wing. It looks like Batman, kinda. I see it. Craig gave me one of these. Pure Adirondack. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's, yes, fitting. fitting. And I'm gonna go with a stone face brewing full clip that Justin provided me. Fair trade 6.5 for 6.5. And 16 ounces. ounces. Cheers. Good in the woods, folks. You heard him say it. No, he's over there. Where? Yep. Oh, man. This has been fun. And all it, kinds of weather, brother. All kinds of weather, dude. Frost, snow, sleet. Hail. Flurries. 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 Hail. Sunshine. Big white water. caps. Rollers. Oh, man. Glass. Big clouds. Gray skies. You guys see the size of that fish I caught? The thing was <laughs> massive. <laughs> Who brought the cool kid? What the? Talk about blowing up Just the video. Just fucked everything up. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Way to go, Craig. <laughs> it's raining, but I'm telling you, it could be worse. I'm still having a real good time. Tonight for dinner, some serious ramen. Stuff is hot with some chicken creations, buffalo style, some bacon. And I'm also throwing in some dehydrated refried beans and rice in a burrito. And that's gonna make a mighty fine meal. That's some spicy stuff right there. Not bad on a rainy night. We've got some sugar cookies here that Shelly made. Shelly is Craig's better half. Pretty awesome. She made them and packed them in bubble wrap. That's pretty incredible. So. It's our last full day on the lake, guys. And what a beauty of a day. It's about 60 degrees right now. We're back on the water. I feel like I'm a little overdressed at the moment, but I'm sure once we get in the wind, I'll be fine. We stayed at site nine last night and it rained and we had a really good time without a fire. It was awesome. We just sat down and drank and listened to the rain and talked to each other and it's cool. It was a nice change of pace. But today we're gonna try and catch some fish and enjoy our last day. Hopefully find a site somewhere on Hitchens Pond. We've got a little bit of paddling to do right now and we're gonna our portage 
portage all our stuff over and then we'll be on Hitch's Pond. So we're saying goodbye to Lowe's Lake today. Not one single complaint. Except they should have kept that fish last night because that thing was huge. <laughs> it would have fed us for days, but it's just too much. It'd be a waste. When I woke up this morning at about six o'clock, it was really dark and windy. The wind had been blowing all night. I thought maybe, maybe it was gonna rain and we were gonna have to throw in the towel, call it a day early, but it looks like we're being rewarded with the doozy of the final day. Good news, site one is open and it's pretty nice. We're really close to the dam, so tomorrow's paddle is gonna be about three minutes and we're out of here. <laughs> so no rush, we're sitting pretty. The sun is kind of trying to break through. Things are looking up. Let me show you guys camp for the evening. Our last night of the trip. There's Craig's tarp. And there's my tent. In the tarp. And the view. And the fire pit. We're styling. I'm pretty happy with the way this turned out. I was getting nervous there for a minute. This whole trip, it was Craig's idea. He invited me out here. I'd never even heard of this place. We did that trip earlier this summer to make sure that we could tolerate each other for a week. I hate you. I'm ready to go. I was ready to go the first day, but I didn't want to, I didn't want to, didn't want to go there. <laughs> so eight miserable fucking days, man. It's terrible. It's terrible. Do not come here. <laughs> yeah, don't. It's windy. It's rough water. Just don't go to site 18. You're it's horrible. Catch nothing but bass, if you can catch any at all. Yeah, go somewhere else. Somewhere else. It sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, look at you, you sexy beast. Mm. All right, I'm about to make some trailside shepherd's pie. I've got some dehydrated turkey and vegetables with chicken broth right there. I'm gonna add that to some potatoes, and then boom, secret ingredient. That's right. This is our last night on the lake and we have homemade sugar cookies courtesy of Shelly, Craig's girlfriend. Thank you, Shelly. This is amazing. <laughs> I'm about to mess these things up. So what I do for a pillow is I take my emergency clothes and I put them in a stuff sack and I put those into the hood of my sleeping bag. And that's my pillow. Good morning, everybody. I can't wait to take a shower. Well, this is it, guys. It's the final breakdown. The last breakdown of the trip. Oh. 
Last night, as we were hanging out by the campfire, Craig split me this piece of red oak. Get the heart of it. I'm going to do something with this. I'll tell you all about that later. That's it. We're paddling out of here. It's been an amazing week canoe camping on the water with Craig. It's been so much fun, but I'm looking forward to seeing my family. I'm a bit tired. I stink. I need a shower. I'm looking forward to that. But that's the worst of it. That's the worst of it. Everything else is aces. Now it's time for the five hour drive home. Craig, this was awesome. Thanks for having me, man. Thanks for the invite. You're welcome, my friend. Craig does a lot of cool stuff on YouTube. You should check out his channel, Craig Dwella. Give his channel a check out for me, please. Thank you. It's time to get off the water, get back into the woods. Because it's good in the woods, baby. Until next time, guys. Talk to you later.